I'm updating my Johnny Silverhand build for update 2.0 and Tombs pistols are absolutely cracked in 2.0. This build one shots basically every single enemy below the ultra hard difficulty and it's insanely fun to slow down time and headshot enemies while driving. Let's go. Let me know in the comments your favorite pistol. So how this build essentially functions is we're using the cool line plus the focused and dead eye perks you gain from there and obviously some other perks around that tree to hip fire with pistols and have no bullet spread and deal an insane amount of crit damage via headshots as well as just general critical hits because we have great critical damage because we're maxing out our cool stat plus some other ways to do that. We have great critical hit chance because we're maxing out our reflex stat and these perks do an insane amount of job of making the pistols a really incredible weapon. I'm also using the projectile launch system for our cyberware here because it's great to just have this option. Plus I wanted to incorporate the doom launcher perk and the projectile launch system because I really dig it in 2.0 because you get multiple charges with the projectile launch system. You can charge it up to deal like a burst of five projectiles. And then when you buff it in this way and combine it with these burn this city perk and some of the other perks as well, it can really help It'll, like push this build that little bit further with your movement speed and the explosion damage chances you get it's also a great option to stagger enemies in 2.0 now that the game is like generally across the board it's like harder right like ultra hard is actually kind of hard now and having something like the projectile launch system that when buffed in this way has like zero cooldown because you can just constantly spam it you can stagger enemies especially enemies that deal a lot of damage and have a lot of health to give you time to say move or avoid damage in various ways and we have a decent amount of mitigation chance and strength with this build as well so we can kind of stand still and avoid damage in that way too and then stagger enemies but the main crux of this build is honestly just standing still and hip firing with a pistol and it's just a lot of fun like i've had a great time using this and using the sand ever stand to slow down time and just destroy enemies in that way but let's break it all down starting with attributes the main one here is cool so that you can go into the various cool perks and then probably technical ability to start getting some of that cyberware upgrade and then into reflexes for your movement and body as well body i would definitely level pretty early so you can get some of those secondary perks just for your own overall survivability but because this is a pretty solid build in terms of its range damage you can get away without actually having to do a lot of survivability input into your body until the later stages of the game for perks i will have the full build planner linked in the comments down below so we won't cover every single perk just for redundancy but obviously grab road warrior because it's not only fun but it's cool as hell and also because we're using focus and dead eye as well if you are actually driving a car and using a weapon you slow down time you won't have any like recoil or bullet spread on those bullets same as when you're driving so you can get some really cool shots with that focus and dead eye are the key main ones here that you'll grab leveling out your focus to unlock focus mode and then dead eye to unlock dead eye i would also be grabbing high noon to increase your reload speed as well as long shot so that your shots always deal full damage regardless of the distance which is really important for pistols and revolvers that we're using here run and gun is great so when hip firing you don't consume stamina and when focus is active you have an additional movement speed now you've also got nerves of tungsted steel which is great for guaranteed critical hits with revolvers as we will use the occasional revolver as well moving on to the technical line here you really want to grab all of the cyberware perks as well as a couple of the grenade perks mostly for getting the doom launcher because doom launcher will give you the massive benefits to the projectile launch system that we want so you need these perks in order to get there but for the most part you don't need the secondaries but i would be grabbing burn this city as it does stack with a doom launcher as well as pyromania so you can get the buffs to your movement speed and explosion damage when you're triggering that effect and then obviously the cyberware perks which we've touched on in a ton of videos and i'll link my cyberware video here if you want to go and get in more depth there we're mostly just grabbing these for movement speed as well as being able to dash around and the mitigation chance and strength you get from some of these secondary perks which is definitely worth grabbing and just generally being able to move around the field while hip firing in this way is what our main focus on is here in the body line we're just really grabbing the health regen perks here right so painkiller and its secondaries as well as adrenaline rush because adrenaline rush is a great survivability mechanic and you'll want to grab that but when you do grab adrenaline rush also grab juggernaut so when it's active you get that extra movement speed plus the additional damage from those effects. 
For the cyberware, the projectile launch system is the main one you want to grab here. Just make sure you're getting one that is either technical ability or cool attuned, and then you want to grab this. And the charge shots here are beneficial here because of the extra damage it will do. In your skeleton line, you really want to look for things for mitigation strength as well as mitigation chance, so something like spring joints and kinetic frame, and any sort of armor you get from that is just secondary. In the nervous system here, I'm running the Karenzakov for the slowdown time effects because we are using a lot of slowdown time, but combining that with the Defense Kakov to increase your mitigation chance once Karenzakov ends, as well as the Karenzakov boost system, which then further buffs that as well. In the nervous line, I'm also using the Visual Cortex support, so crit chance increases the further you are from the enemy, and because with the perks that we have of being a Deadeye, we don't have any bullet spread and we don't have any damage fall off with these pistols, so you can be as far away from the enemies as you like, plus it is cooler tuned for that extra headshot and weak spot damage. Otherwise, there isn't much to call out here other than the double jump, which is just my favorite cyberware in general. And then in the bio monitor line, we're running the typical bio monitor, heal on kill and blood pump, which we've touched on in previous videos. Immovable force is great to reduce your recoil and bullet spread as a good hands option to pick up, plus the ballistic compressor for that ricochet damage as well. The operating system I'm choosing to run here is the Apogee Sand Devastan. So for the David build, we didn't run this, we ran the Falcon, but we're running this one in this build because of that headshot damage plus obviously the crit chance and crit damage but the headshot damage is the main one here right because you can slow down time line up those headshots you have no bullet spread and you will just never miss those shots because you've got plenty of time to land them so it's absolutely beneficial to run the apogee here or until you can get to that point to afford a lot of this cyberware you can really just grab the cheaper versions or anything that you can sort of afford up until that point in the relic tree we are focusing on jailbreak for the projectile launch system benefits you get here so you can charge that up that'll deal an additional five projectiles in lack of burst and as well as the launch capacity override to give you an additional charge and then once you've got the points for it the vulnerability analysis for that extra crit damage as well as armor penetration and then buffing that even further with machine learning ah! for weapons here we are using power weapons so power pistols and power revolvers you could go into say the technical line or i probably wouldn't do smart because we don't have any intelligence but you could go technical pistols but you would want to pick up those perks in the technical ability tree here her majesty is a phantom liberty expansion pistol that is great for stealth as it has a unique silencer on it and because of the sand devastan here and the ability to just one shot enemies you can kind of just like zoom around one shot enemies from stealth by using this weapon without having to trigger combat in that way and i'm using johnny's pistol which comes from his quest line. I believe you get the pistol in like the first of these from the Chip and In quest, but that do start in Act 3 if you're looking to get that. Plus, obviously, if you do the rest of his quest, you'll get the sick outfit as well as his car, which you absolutely should get. For revolvers, I am using Old Reliable here, but you can kind of use any revolvers for the most part. They're all pretty efficient, and there are some good iconic ones that you can grab. But there's so many pistols in Cyberpunk 2077, like there is an absolute ton, so I'm sure you'll find ones that you will actually like and want to connect with and use. But but there's just sort of some general options. Some quick tips here before we go. To level this build, you want to focus on cool first to get those perks. And the pistol weapons are great to use even in the early game. So you don't have to worry too much. Like a lot of the other builds, especially like the David build we did yesterday, you kind of takes a while to get going because you need that money to be able to buy that cyberware and be able to invest in yourself in that way. Whereas this is really just grab a pistol, invest in the cool line and just start shooting and you're good to go, right? Like it's a really easy build to get going in that way. Hip firing is really good here because you won't use stamina when shooting now in 2.0 anytime you shoot you use stamina whereas hip firing you won't so make sure you are doing that and just paying attention to your stamina levels to make sure your focus is actually active while you're doing that and then if you want to move around the battlefield you know you've got all your dashes and everything from the reflex line here as well so you can zip around but just make sure you are actually using hip fire because you won't have any bullet spread anyway so you don't have to worry about aiming for the most part but that is all for today guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below thank you guys for watching this video till the end thank you to our members for supporting the channel my name is Norza, and i hope you have a great day